hello friends uh, welcome to the welcome to this new video so in this today's video we are going to see how do we log into that private rds from our local uh, local machine uh, so this is my par rds which is located in in, in a uh, private subnet so let me like uh, show you the configuration uh, connectivity of this rds and so in this connectivity and security section you will see that the publicly accessible is defined as a no means no one is able to uh, able to access to uh, access to the rds from the internet so the most of the developer have that common question so uh, they want to like uh, log into this rds from their local machine so i am consider me as a developer i want to this is my mysql workbench environment and i want to log into that rds from from here so how can we achieve that so for it is a possible option so uh, for this you need an one public ec2 instance with an 24 22 port enabled for your ip address or maybe it is it would be better to have a public publicly open like a bastion server we need so this this is the my public web server through this uh, throughout the the tunnel we are going to first log into this uh, uh, public server and then we, we then we are able to log into the rds database so let's see how can we like uh, achieve this so this is in my public uh, ec2 instance mm, so yeah I, here i i log into this ec2 instance you can use any tools like a putty or mobile extreme to log into this uh, public ec2 instance so let me like uh, first check this public ec2 instance and rds have connectivity so for, by using a tenant command first we will verify that both the uh, rds and ec2 instance have that connectivity so for that this is my ec2 instance terminal so i'm going to execute telnet then the host name of our rds rds endpoint and then 3306 so here you can check that our ec2 instance don't have access to that rds database so first we'll make sure that that ec2 instance have access to the uh, our uh, rds for this uh, go to that rds console and open the security group of rds database i'm going to open it in new in new tab okay then copy the ip address or security group this depends on you you can copy the security uh, security group id or the ip address so i will go with an ip address for now but security group is also a better option mm. so i have copied the students ip address public ip address and i am going to add it in the rds data rds database security group so rds port number is in mysql means 3306 and then paste the uh, ec2 ip address with the slash 32 cidr and click on save rules now go to your ec2 instance and again execute the same command so this is the ec2 instance with then let me check i have taken the correct ip address yeah still the connectivity is not established so let me like copy the ec2 instance security group copy the ec2 instance security group id then go to that rds security group which is uh, this one edit in bar rules then add rules then choose the 3306 and then add the security group id and click on the save rules i hope this will help us to maintain to create a connectivity between ec2 and rds yeah successfully connectivity is established so make sure to add an uh, 
ECTM is the security group rather than choosing an IP address. So, the ECTM is an address connected to is even established. Now, go to your MySQL work page and click on databases and click on the connect to database. Then, in the connection method, you will see the multiple options, but we will go with a standard TCP IP or SSH. In the SSH host name means IP address of your EC2 instance. Add the IP address of EC2 instance and then semicolon port 22. User is it? I have an Ubuntu EC2 instance, so Ubuntu. Then please select the SSH key file, click on three dots. And select your SSH key file. In my case, it is located in download folders. Then MySQL host name. So MySQL host name means RDS database endpoint. You will get it in the connectivity and security option section inside your RDS. Port number is 3306 and the your my uh, RDS database username go to the configuration section and here you will get that the database username in my case it is an admin okay so admin and click on the click on the ok so it will automatically ask you the password okay so Add, enter your password and click on the OK option. So you can you will see that successfully we have logged into our uh, uh, into my uh, MySQL RDS, which is an this one. So to, through that the instance uh, tunneling option, we are able to log into that uh, private RDS throughout our local machine. So I hope you ha you have like you understood this configuration. So if you are like uh, facing any challenges uh, uh, while doing this uh, practical, so please let me in the comment section. And if you like and got any knowledgeable information through this video then hit like like share and subscribe and thank you for the watching the video have a nice day